Hi everybody, this is Rob and Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby and we're taking a look at the Ares Tiger Moss 75 Nano Micro RTF. Talk about it, Kurt. I'm looking at it. You said we're taking oh, a look at it. Oh, we're taking a look at it. Yeah, yeah, we are. What's it going to do? I think sometimes, you know, there's there's a lot to be said about silence. <laughs> People fill up this, the blank, the empty space with words and they fill just the something's empty lost. Spaces. Something, yeah. so, something is lost. Well, this is another product from Aries that... Um, this is worth looking at, too. Yes, it's... It's, it, it, it's... There's some cool stuff going on here. There's some a unique lot stuff going cool on stuff. here. And in fact, clearly from your last landing... Oh, no way. You did no not way. set the wing back into place. But, you know, this is a great way to demonstrate something. Here's... Well, the first thing that struck us as we took it out of the box is there's magnetic fastening of the lower wing. Yep. You can see that pulls away. There's pins uh, inserted on the top, top of the wing. Let me put that back together. Oh, yeah, there look you at go. that. Oh, boy. We, Beautiful. We took out some of the, the other wing camera. Incident wing incident is back to normal. Which you'll notice something else kind of cool is all the struts. You can just pull the struts right out. They're magnetically attached. So when you look at the durability of a micro, or a mi alter micro, super giga nano <laughs> micro, giga like nano this, micro. Um, you know, it's always a problem. You, you end up breaking them with your hands. Yeah. You know, you just, it's, well, yeah, they take more damage just handling them. It's, it's usually, you know, hanger rash, as they yeah. call it, when you're grabbing a hold of it. Um, magnetic actuator in the back. It's not solid linkage, yep. which we found this one to be, well, not to be a spoiler, but very quiet. Yes. Very quiet, very responsive. And then to top it all off, the coolest thing, just from a first, a first observation perspective, is that the um, side panel is magnetic as well, and you can actually remove the side panel on the motor. Yep. So you've got full access to your, th your uh, all-in-one unit. So when it comes to serviceability, if you've got any issues yeah. whatsoever, if you're replacing a prop, replacing a gearbox yeah. or anything, you don't have to cut stickers, it pull it apart. It actually kind of looks cool like that, too. Like it does. It almost looks like it has a little bit of exhaust coming out. <laughs> well, I should have tried flying it like that. Yeah. But uh, It would have pulled to one side. Very unique, a very innovative way to, yeah. to introduce a micro. And we've seen this. You know, It's not the first time we've seen this from this company. Um, they always try to do a little different twist on things. Yep. They do. Um, and to me, making a, a micro that still looks like it's scale uh, on those, and then you have an, uh, an access hatch to it on top yeah. of it. And we even saw it with their trainer 100. Um, you could remove the top wing. It was a high wing trainer. Yeah. And you could pop that top wing off. It was, yep. it was held on by magnets, yeah. which gave you access to every, everything on the inside. So, yeah. you know, the days of closed, locked, glued, solid, you know, yeah. uh, micros or ultra micros or nano micros, Maybe coming to an end, which is a good thing. It makes them, it extends the lifespan of them. Well, it does. When you it can does. access them, you can you can maintain them, you can repair yep. them, you can. Well, most know, of so. the damage on a micro takes place on the nose, and when you can't yeah. get to it, yeah, it's frustrating. You're cutting it apart and you're pulling everything apart to yep. get to it. So Why don't you let's give us some specs. Let's take a look at the specs in the Aries Tiger Moth 75 Nano Micro RTF. The wingspan is 11.4 inches. The length is 10.8 inches. The all-up weight is only 0.5 ounces. Rob, wow. Uh, the battery is 50 milliamps, uh, 1S 3.7 volt LiPo. The transmitter that came with our RTF is a 3 channel 2.4 gig radio system with integrated LiPo charger. The onboard electronics are 3 1 receiver, an ESC, the servo and magnetic actuator for the rudder. And the price at the time of this review is $79.99. Let's take a look at the flight footage. Let's do it. That's really, you know, it's, it's the cool innovations on the bench and the flight footage is where yep. it all comes down to. So check out the flight and make sure you come back for part two review scoring.